Hey, 7th grade, Mr. Bone here, and I'm going to go through your review and preview of the last two weeks, or the last week and the next week. So, this past week, what did we do? We started off finishing up Chapter 7, Section 4 of the RITP. We looked at a crash course, did some cahooting. Then we started working on your six-frame summary. We worked on that Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, we went home, but... You certainly could work on it at home. That was your day two of working on it. Um, review stuff that was online, cahoots and things like that. Thursday, we took your big test if you had all of your homework done. And then today, I've asked you to do a crash course number 18 on the exit ticket. So that's where we were for this week. Uh, the two big things we had, of course, would be the six-frame summary and the big three religion test. A couple of things about that. Um, some of you ran into a wall this week and it's not that it doesn't happen. This happens fairly often in the beginning of seventh grade. Um, but it probably is a little bit even harder this year because, um, it's been six months since you've been in school, really. So some of you didn't work quite as hard on the things as you, maybe you could have or should have. Um, several people didn't have homework done in time to be able to take the test. Some people didn't study very hard for the test. Some people, I think, just tried to memorize Kahoot as their study for the test. And then if the test asked the same question in a slightly different way, you were flummoxed. It didn't make a lot of sense to you. So I think this was just a good way to show that there is some work you need to put into seventh grade. You need to get some things straightened out. But this is not the end of the world. So several people have some grades that they're probably not very happy with right now. I have put the test retake instructions and video on Classroom. So if you're interested in seeing what you need to do to retake a test, you can do that. Um, of course, you can't do any of that till Monday. I mean, you can get stuff done, but you can't do it till Monday. Uh, but the six-frame summary can still come in. Any late homework can still come in. All the RITPs need to come in. So there really is a lot of stuff you can be doing. If you're not happy with your grade right now, there are a ton of things that you can be doing to make that better. Um, so Monday, I might expect that I'll have a whole lot of stuff turned in. Um, but that's kind of the way it goes sometimes in seventh grade. And it's just kind of a, you know, you fell on the floor. It's okay. Pick yourself up and get going from here. It's certainly not too late to change any of that. We've only had the one test and the one fairly good sized grade. So this is seriously time to get things turned around get on the right track and fly right for the rest of the year. Um, so don't give up if that's happened to you. So that was last week. So this coming week, we're switching into the other world religions. So we're done with the big three, switch into the other world religions. Um, we're gonna go all the way up to chapter 19. Remember we were in six and seven. Now we're going all the way up to 19. We're gonna do section two. We're gonna do section three. We're gonna look at another crash course. We're gonna start looking at Hinduism and Buddhist ter terms. Those are gonna be the two religions we talk about here. Then we're going to start to research and discuss Shinto, which may be a religion you're not familiar with. And you get some choices on how you want to do that. Uh, look at another crash course on Wednesday. Thursday, we'll start our Greek and Roman mythology. So that's something that many of the students look forward to. Some of you like the Greek mythology, so we can start talking about that on Thursday. Friday, when you're home again, you will be looking at a India crash course because these two religions in 19, those are both from India. So the crash course will help us with that. When we come the next week, we will be finishing off with a project on the other road religions and probably another test. So it's certainly not time to start getting behind. It's not time to give up. It's not time to do any of that. So Let's make sure that you are working on things this weekend to straighten out anything that you're not quite happy with. And I will see you guys on Monday.